Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about the security hardening life cycle, specifically security hardening, maintaining an integrated and current up-to-date program for security hardening. So these are five steps for the life cycle. You harden an IT asset in the mechanism we've shown. Uh, you can do a quarterly check uh, through the automated tool, for example, or through manual sampling, uh, which is a periodic val validation just to make sure some changes have not occurred which you may not be aware of or there have been any unintended uh, changes. Step number three, seek updates on hardening the benchmarks because uh, you need to look out and make sure that you are getting the updates because the benchmarks, uh, they keep adding more controls and we need to be, make sure that we know when the new benchmark has been issued. Implement the additional controls, step number four. Step number five, pursue controls that may require additional working that you may not have implemented originally. So step number one, harden the IT asset. And we've been talking about this. First step is harden the IT asset according to some benchmark using our eight-step hardening methodology. Now, this is the standard eight-step methodology that we implement uh, for security hardening. And this is really step number one. Now, step number two is periodic validation. And we check periodically every quarter, every month um, for changes to the established standard or baseline that we've already implemented because there may be unintended changes or there may be a malicious attempt to change the configuration and we can run the automated tool or we can do a manual validation check on a quarterly basis just to make sure that if we had scanned or validated a router, for example, and it, had, it was showing that uh, 100 controls were passed and 20 controls were showing as fail, and that was acceptable for us um, um, because 20 controls, it was not possible to implement them because they may be using a certain protocol which we're not even implementing. So 100 controls were showing on January 1st of uh, the year, 100 controls were implemented. And when you check on um, uh, April 1st, for example, or three months later, then you, you should still be getting the 100 controls passed, showing as passed for the CIS benchmark, for example, uh, for that device. Number three, seek updated uh, or seek updates on the hardening benchmarks. The benchmarks are periodically updated. You should subscribe to the feeds from CIS, DISA, NIST, uh, NCP, National Checklist Repository Program, um, or whatever benchmark you're using. You see they keep updating the benchmarks, and we need to make sure that our assets are hardened with the most updated version of the benchmark. Number four, implement the additional controls. Now, usually what happens is that in the first round of hardening, there are hundreds of controls, and you have uh, dozens and hundreds of IT assets, and it all adds up into thousands of controls. So the hardest controls are sometimes left, or uh, 10 to 15% controls may be left intentionally by the IT team because they are more difficult, complex, or they require utilities, or, or uh, it requires more time to understand the controls, or it may be causing some disruption in the network. And those controls will be marked as not implemented, applicable, but not implemented. And uh, now that um, we're running the life cycle, we're running through the life cycle, and we've already implemented the basic controls, now is a good time to go back and take a look at those 10 or 15 or 5% or whatever controls were left and to implement them because we have more time to do some research, do some more testing, and get these additional controls which we had left over uh, which were not implemented, and now we can implement them. Number five, pursue and implement controls that may require additional working, as we had mentioned. Some controls may have caused a crash or malfunction. Some controls may have not been possible due to dependencies or missing utilities. Enhance the percentage of implemented controls, and you should bring those up. So 100% uh, is the perfect situation uh, for the controls. If there are 400 controls for Windows Server 2012 R2, then ideally all 400 should be implemented. But if you implemented only 350 in your first run, that's also a very good achievement. And in the further in the life cycle, what you should then do is implement the additional controls that were left over. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.